this is Carl, the solution isn't the solution to fitness. What's going on everyone, this is Carl, the solution isn't the solution to fitness. And today, we're going to find out if tuna is really good for you. Now I'm going to answer the question right away. Tuna sucks. Now I have two of the most popular brands that I see. I have Bumblebee Tuna here and Chicken of the Sea. They both have around the same nutrition facts. Um, they cost around the same, I believe. Uh, I haven't bought these in a while, so I'm not too sure. But if you're trying to lose weight, this may not be the best option for you. Now first, let's talk about the good things about tuna. Um, so for example, the nutrition facts are about the same, like I said. Um, I'm gonna post on the screen. Now who wouldn't love these facts? It's got zero grams of fat and carbs, low cholesterol, and 13 grams of protein. And if you were to eat the whole can, this would be double to 26 grams of protein, which is not bad at all. Now tuna is a popular option for bodybuilders or people that just want to eat healthy. Every time I have a client and I ask them about their diet routine, they tell me, oh, blah, 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 salad, blah, blah, blah chicken, blah, 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 tuna. And this snaps in my head and I'm like, tuna. Why do you have that? What is it about tuna that I do not like? I used to have this all the time. I used to have around like two cans a day. Just because I only looked at the fat and the protein. But if you really look at it, you have to look at the sodium. Like I said, the serving size is two. So in both of these cans, the sodium is at 140 milligrams. Times that by two, you got 280 milligrams. Now, it's not too bad. It's decent. But... Do you eat tuna just out of the can like this? Well, most people don't. Most people like to put mayonnaise in their tuna. So let's get the mayonnaise nutrition facts on the screen. Now bear in mind, these nutrition facts come from one tablespoon. And one tablespoon, you're adding in 10 grams of fat and 90 milligrams of sodium. So you just added some fat to the tuna and further increased the sodium intake. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a tablespoon. Do you put this much into your tuna? Mm, most people, no. A lot of people put like three of these in there. Nah, bruh, I need more mayo. But just say for argument's sake, just three tablespoons. Now, do you eat tuna without bread? Some people don't. Now there's all different kinds of breads with different facts, but I'm just gonna put uh, the normal wheat bread that I see nutrition facts on the screen. Now I chose the wheat bread nutrition facts because I've noticed that more and more people have switched from white bread to wheat, thinking all their health troubles are over after doing that. Well, as you can see here, these facts are for one slice, so you have to double this if you're making a sandwich out of it. Now, not only did you add in fat with the mayonnaise, you've also added carbs with the bread. And you've also added even more sodium. Congrats! Now, check out these new nutrition facts. It pretty much speaks for itself, but look at that whopping sodium change. Wow! Remember, this is just an estimate, and if you eat the whole can yourself. Look, the protein doesn't even change that much. And this is the reason why I dropped tuna and replaced it. Now with all these added facts that I just told you about, do you still think tuna is a really good option? Well, I don't. And it's been about a year since the last time I had tuna. So I know it's pretty cheap, high protein, low fat and all that stuff, but you got to look at the bigger picture. All right, You can do without the tuna, especially if you want to lose weight, if you want to lean out, you want your muscles to show you need to drop the tuna. Now if you need help dropping more water weight, which you will be retaining from tuna, check out the other video that I posted, five different ways you can lose water weight. Check that out and that will help you out big time. So again, this is Carl the Solution saying if you got a problem, I'll help you solve it. Your worst days are done and your best is yet to come.